Miss Saigon has reached legendary proportions in this country. I don't think any of my shows have had so many requests to be seen again. I saw people who need two days to recover from the show. They were so shocked and so moved by my days. The plot, as you know, is the story of Madame Butterfly, which is based on the play by David Belasco. I saw in a magazine a picture of a woman being separated from her daughter at Saigon Airport because her daughter was flying to the USA to join her ex-GI father. About the middle of 1986 that she yes, gave me the first was it? cassette. Yes. And then they gave me a second act. In French, of course, yes. at that time. Which they know would totally confuse me. <laughs> Please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen, the girls are about to ride. It opened under a huge draw of publicity. We were everywhere. Billboards, newspapers, news. It's actually here and I can't I can't quite believe it. The whole future of the show is tonight. Good shows always travel. And I think this is a good show. The first night in the Saigon uh, at Drury Lane is something that will always be etched in my memory as being a very, very special occasion. When the final curtain came down and everybody was screaming. The audience was standing up for about 20 minutes and, and would not let us leave the stage. Me, I just, you know, looked down and said, my God, we've done it, we've done it. By far the majority of people are realizing that this is actually a very great musical and most of the reviews have been to that effect, that how skillfully it does deal with that most difficult of subjects in a musical, a contemporary problem. Barbara, how many times have you seen Miss Saigon? About 284. It's just something mysterious about this Saigon thing. I've not seen anything that is close to it. Miss Saigon, first of all, is not your standard musical theatre. Saigon requires not only rock and roll vocal chops, it's sung through, it's truly an opera, and because of the interracial casting. I mean, half of your cast has to be Asian. We started to conceive this new version of Miss Saigon back in 2004 and subsequently, because it was such a huge success, it's been done in several other countries around the world. It's time for a, a new imagined, reimagined sort of version of it. And now that we're finally bringing it back home to London at the Prince Edward, which is the perfect theatre for this show, where we can use every part of the auditorium and the great stage there, we are being able to add some really exciting new design elements for London, which we haven't done anywhere else in the world, which I think will absolutely make this production sit side by side with the original legendary production I did at Drury Lane. If you're looking for fun, original sin, if you want to put out, then you gotta come here. Fresh talk, if that's what you'd enjoy. For the price, a girl. This new cast for London has been drawn from all over the world. I don't think in my career have I had such an international cast. This new production, Claude Michel and Alain Mobile, have written a marvellous new song for the second act. The part of Hélène, it's quite tricky. Everybody wants to get rid of her so the two lovers, they can stay together and they can have a life with their children. And I think that we finally could get to the heart of the emotion Ellen is going through in Act Two at that moment in the show. She's vulnerable, she's not a tough woman, and she's asking to herself questions what's going to happen. That's why we call the song Maybe. never been heard in English yet, even though we have actually already put it into the Japanese and Dutch production. We had already a miracle in uh, 1988, the first time 
I worked and met Leah Salonga back in Manila. She was 17. And of course, she came to London and created the role. I was very surprised. I thought that I would buckle under the pressure, but I didn't. And I'm quite proud of myself that I didn't. I guess that's how I got chosen. I guess Cameron and, and company, they must have seen something that, 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 yeah, she can do this. What I never thought would happen is that lightning would strike twice. Tara Rubin, the casting director, suddenly comes up with a young girl into the studio called Eva Nobelzada. She sings Saigon as if she was Kim. And that's another mystery that you can't explain. I'll give you a million things I'll never own. I'll give you a world to conquer when you grow. Though Miss Saigon, the show hasn't changed, the world has changed and moved on. So nothing could be better for this new production to have brought such an extraordinary mix from all the way around the world to do this London production. Something we could never have conceived 25 years ago. But we'd never have had the opportunity to do that without the original production.